20 bucks, and I think this one here might have been like 10. Ten dollars for a case knife made in the U.S. Um, yeah. All right, Colonel, you convinced me. Uh, on the way home from work today, I stopped at Lowe's and I picked up a couple of purchases. Uh, so I guess I am no longer a case knife virgin. So I did pick up. I didn't pick up the third one. Uh, I can't remember what it was called, but. I did pick up these two, the Case Caliber and the Mini Blackhorn. And this one, I'll, I'll roll a picture here into the thing. Um, this one was $13.94 and this was $10.94 plus tax. So let's take a look at them. I think you already had a little review, but for people on my channel that haven't subscribed to you yet you should go over there and check them out so I'm gonna open them with my spider co see if I can do this without killing myself here let's see I'll start Um, seems kind of feels kind of cheesy actually that's my first impression um, again I have no experience with case knives uh, I'm a cheap knife kind of guy but I'll support the American working man because they are uh, made in the USA so it's a uh, lock back. Uh, let me see uh, what the other one was called. It's called the Sod Buster. The, the one I didn't buy is called the Sod Buster. In it. Um, but this is yeah, uh, good for in your pocket or to leave in your car uh, if you just need a, uh, an edge to do something. See how sharp it is here. See if you can see my hairs. There you go, out of the box sharp. Shaved it right off. I don't know if you can see those hairs. So that's it's pretty impressive. I'm um, the blade is good, the handle, the liners are kind of cheesy in my opinion. Closes easy enough. There's a lock back. So let's take a look at the other one. Let's see here. Uh, fail on the blister pack. I, I don't like the blister packs. But understandably, um, Lowe's has to control costs by keeping shoplifting down, so those boxes, they're either going to have to keep those behind a lock case or go with the blister packs, and I think they obviously chose the blister packs. I don't know if it was a Lowe's decision or if Case uh, decided this or... Uh, anyway, whatever. They're in the blister packs. So here's the... Um, I just threw it on the floor. Uh, the mini... The mini Blackhorn. This one, the plastic feels... cheesy. Um... But I guess you're paying more for the blade. I'll have to EDC these for a while and, and kind of give a, a follow-up review. But again, locks back pretty decent. This one has a little a little bit of a yeah, no no wiggle. This one has a little wiggle, but it's negligible. Let's see here. Again out of the box sharp Oops. Right. Eh, it's not it's not great but it works it's good 
that's just me. Yeah, not. And here's my Spyderco. Let me see the Spyderco and get a better angle. And I haven't sharpened this. I've had this for a month and a half now, and I've used it pretty much every day. So that's the Spyderco. Spyderco's gonna. All right. So that's the Spyderco. So here's the black horn. I just saw a little bit. And then this is the Case Caliber. Yeah, Case Caliber is definitely nice and sharp. And this is the thirteen dollar knife. Black horn. Kind of up, I kind of scooped it away. Let's try just a straight down. That's not bad. Yeah, pretty decent. Point of comparison, spider go. Oh, uh, my impressions? Uh, American made, I can understand how they're, um, you can pick them up for probably twice as much as it would cost you to get a, a cheap knife from the, uh, the other place. But uh, I'll, I'll carry them around for a while, see what I think, see how they wear and see what the durability is. I've got some cheap knives at home or in my other bag that I'll compare them to and just kind of maybe we'll do a a side-by-side -side comparison where I carry these every day and try to alternate using them and see which one um, wears out first but so far as jury's still out I've made the plunge got the case knives and See how it goes. Stick around.